Hi, this is Mike with Blue Island Public Library with some book reviews. I'm going to be talking about some music books in the collection and specifically then some uh, guitar books and then some guitar fingerstyle books and then some guitar fingerstyle songbooks. So this will be probably very boring uh, at some point for just about everyone, but hopefully someone will find this uh, interesting. So generally getting started, first one I have is the Ultimate Pop Rock Fake Book. This is the, uh, there's a series of these books. There's a whole, this is Pop Rock. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Um, we have this book at the library. There's several of these in the system. This is just like the giant book of um, sheet music. Uh, so depending on any instrument that you play, well, any instrument, but um, something like a piano or a guitar, you'll have sheet music for 600 songs, basically. Um, short versions, uh, often like many on the same page, and shortened versions, every verse is the same, but that's fine. Uh, these books are okay. Uh, I'm just going to give that one an OK. Next up we have Rock Guitar for Dummies. Um, you can probably see how old my copy of this is, but I remember this being a very good book. This has kind of everything in it. Uh, anybody looking to learn the guitar as an instrument, uh, they do have a, so this is a whole series, so this is, this specific copy is Rock Guitar for Dummies, probably something like just general guitar for dummies or acoustic guitar for dummies or electric guitar or something might be a better option. But this does have a lot of basic playing techniques and uh, I remember this being a very good book. So, and it's, you know, the dummy series, so you're getting a lot of like, uh, you know, short reads, um, little flavor text added, cartoons here and there, and, and makes for some very light and, and fun reading. So it's a good book. Next, I have the Guitar Tab White Pages books, uh, also known as the gigantic phone books that take up all the room on your shelves. Uh, these are okay. There's this whole series of these as well. So this is the generic Guitar Tab White Pages. This is uh, basically just note-for-note -note transcriptions of very popular songs. So uh, if, you're in, if you're looking for just you know, note for note what was actually played on a specific recording for a specific song and guitar, this is exactly what you want. Uh, but this is like, to me, these are kind of like, you know, you get like a guitar solo and it shows you everything, which is great, and it's spread over like eight pages, and unless you're interested in kind of memorizing note for note somebody's guitar solo or something, um, it's largely uninteresting to me. But they do have, uh, you know, all the chords and everything are notated, and there's a very large collection of songs. Um, this is for the guitar tab white pages. They make easy guitar tab white pages. I believe they make like uh, like a like a corded version of these white pages as well. Uh, and then there's several different volumes of each uh, subset of those. So these books are okay. Uh, I'm going to give that one an okay. Next we have beginning jazz guitar. I haven't read this book. I didn't realize I had it. It's in the collection, and uh, on Amazon it seems to have very good reviews. On a quick thumbing through, it seems to be a very good book, and I'll have to read it. I don't know. Perhaps this was a gift to me from someone. Uh, thank you, but I'll get around to reading it. Uh, it seems like a good book. Next, we have Mel Bay's Guitar Chords. Uh, not much to say about books like these uh, other than it's a chord book. So. Uh, this particular version uh, of chord book, uh, this is nice because it has pictures and everything like that, so that uh, can be helpful for just about everybody on how to kind of figure some complex chords. Uh, but again, just a chord book, so uh, I don't know, it's kind of, all chord books are kind of the same to me. So. Next we have How to Write Songs on Guitar. Uh, this book's awesome. This book exists at the library, and I believe there's several of them in the collection. Uh, I, need, I haven't read the whole thing. Uh, I've had it for a while, but it's very good. It has uh, everything about song structures, um, chord choices, melodies, um, and a lot of like 
interesting things that you don't normally think about just as like um, just you know like what happens when you add an exponential here or what happens when uh, you know in your chord progression you use like a minor four chord or a major two chord or something like that a lot of things you don't really think about and then examples of all those and honestly it's just an all-around great book so this book is awesome next we have the quote-unquote greatest guitar songbook um, there's a whole series of these books, and they all have five guitars on the front. Um, I don't know why. There's the uh, there's the phenomenal. There's the uh, of course this one, the greatest. Then there's the uh, sensational. Uh, there's there's a whole series of these. Um, these books are pretty good. Now, this is just a songbook, but the good thing about these books is that if you look very closely on the cover, you'll notice that there's four or five different. Uh, different styles that are notated on the front. So the first is note for note transcriptions. That's sort of like the uh, White Pages book that we had earlier. Those are great if you're trying to learn every single part of a, a certain song and every guitar part in a certain song, note for note, and it has everything in there. Um, very in-depth. The next type on here is the quote-unquote easy guitar. Now those are okay. Those are like basically you're getting the general guitar parts and the vocal melody listed in tablature notation as a single note with generally just a chord symbol somewhere in the, in the area. And they're simplified so you don't get really the whole thing. But those are still pretty interesting and uh, if you're somewhat of an amateur guitarist like myself, then those are still interesting and fun to play because you get recognizable versions of the songs. Uh, the next type of songs on these type of books is chord melody. Now, chord melody is really nice and is something I'm interested in as well, but uh, it can get a little difficult. That's kind of like the, you get like a chord at the front of each measure and a very full chord with everything in it. It might be, sometimes you can get really jazzy and everything. And then kind of the melody notes brought on top of that note while that chord is sustained. Uh, those can get pretty difficult. It's kind of a relative term, but uh, those are really cool. So, awesome. Uh, and then next you have the, the finger style, uh, style of annotating songs for guitar. Those are particularly my interest. That's similar to the chord melody uh, where you're getting like, you know, the vocal melodies and everything kind of on the top, but this is more of a, you know, bass constantly going, maybe a walking bass or just an alternating bass, driver picking sort of thing. Uh, with melody on top. Those, to me, sound a little bit better than the chord melody, but chord melody is still really cool on its own. Uh, so I think finger style is a little bit better, but they're really cool. Next is the uh, classical list on these type of books. And those are like the, um, uh, sort of like the, the finger style sort of books, but it's basically just a classical song, um, classical music. Uh, so no vocal melody, because there is no vocals, but there is usually a melody built into the uh, composition. So it's, picture it the same as fingerstyle, but it's just it's classical music songs. I don't know why they even separate the two. And finally, uh, you have just the riffs, which is sort of like the note for note transcriptions, but it's just the like opening riff for uh, a famous song or something. Kind of uninteresting to me, but uh, is fun if you just want to learn like how to play like the riff from some famous song. So, uh, so yeah, so that's so generally when you're getting songbooks for guitar, you're getting one of those five styles, and it's important to know the difference if you're looking for a specific thing. So they always have five guitars on the front and five guitars, five styles. I just got that. Okay. Anyway, moving on. So. Now I'm going to focus more on the finger style uh, um, category of books. So the first, uh, this isn't really a song book, but this is a very famous book, well, semi-famous I guess, famous for me at least, is uh, The Art of Contemporary Travis Picking by Mark Hansen. Now Mark Hansen does, everything he does is pretty much awesome. Um, he, this book is basically kind of how to play that style, um, just a how-to book. Now there are some... Uh, you know, song transcriptions in here to kind of get you playing. And it's kind of like, you know, this song uses this particular technique. So 
this is basically the only technique book, uh, at least for fingerstyle, that I, uh, at least someone like me would ever need. There's actually a 25th anniversary uh, edition of this book, and this one actually comes with a CD. Maybe this is the 25th anniversary. I don't know if I've ever listened to the CD. I don't know, it says 1986, so. Uh, but this is a really good book, but it's a technique book, so it's kind of boring unless you're really into just kind of practicing, practicing, practicing. Next, I'm going to go into largely the Hal Leonard style of finger style books. So the first one I'm going to look at is Finger Picking Christmas. This book's great. Uh, it's very, very simple arrangements of Christmas songs. Uh, for years, I played routinely played out of this book, and you know they're simple arrangements, but uh, eventually it gets to the point where you can kind of fill in as much as you want. So if you get better, then you can make them more interesting, which is not something I can really do that well, but uh, they have everything you need. And the good news about books like this, in fact, uh, if you're going to start doing finger style, I'd probably say this would be like the first book to start with. This is great. Finger style, uh, Christmas books uh, like this one. In fact, there's four like this, but this is the, probably the simplest one. Uh, they're great because you already know how the song is supposed to sound because Christmas songs, you've probably heard it before, and they're very simple arrangements. So, great. Next is the kids' favorites. Now, everything else in that series says finger picking something on it. This one just says kids' favorites, so this one's different, but it's also the same, it's a Hell Leonard book out of the same collection. So, this one is also really good now. Uh, probably, if you're starting finger style, this would also be a really good book uh, to start with, at least for just learning songs. Because they're kids' songs, so you've heard them all before, and you know exactly what they're supposed to sound like. And, you know, they're kids' songs, so you think, oh, it's just going to be a simple thing here and there. But they actually do some pretty cool things in here. Basically, for every song, they do first a, you know, kind of simple alternating bass with a melody on top simple sort of thing and then they do some interesting things where they fill in a lot more of the inside chord for you and then even like moving the melody of the song into the bass uh with, you know and then having just kind of like chords on on top which if you played this before is a lot more difficult than one would think it is so this book's awesome next we have children's songs uh this book is you might think it's the same as the book, uh, same as the one we just had, but this is different. This is completely different songs, and uh, this book uh, I think is good only for the reason that there's a lot of arrangements, a lot of songs arrangements in here that uh, I haven't seen anywhere else. So a lot of really old, uh, like '70s cartoons, '60s cartoons, old Disney movies. Uh, this book's a little more difficult. Uh, you get in more like keys that are kind of not really suited for this style. You get in like just basic A or E, which seems like a, a pretty good key, but you know, to me it's easier if it's in like C or G. You don't have to, there's a lot of a lot of moving around laterally on the guitar for some of these, and a lot of um, more full chords, almost like you're getting like chord melody arrangements of some of these. Uh, but this book's pretty good. A little more challenging, so it's kind of for me. It's kind of I don't know. Maybe I'll really appreciate this in a few more years. Decades, whatever. Next, we have Finger Picking Pop. This is in the collection. Uh, I didn't think it would be, but it is. This is a really good book. Uh, simple arrangements. Some of them kind of sound uh, a little hollow, but uh, like I said, if you're, you know, someone who's good would be able to fill in a lot of that and make it sound more interesting. So, a pretty good selection of songs, and the book's awesome. Next, we have Finger Picking. Beatles, uh, not to be confused with the other finger-picking Beatles uh, arranged by someone else. This book's also pretty good, but it's not in the Swan Collection, so we don't care. This book is in the Swan Collection. There are at least a few of them, I believe, and this book's awesome. Uh, just like the other books, you know, relative big range of songs and a big range of difficulty, so very simple arrangements up to um, what I would consider to be intermediate or very hard uh, arrangements. Uh, I can't play everything in there, at least. Uh, so great collection of songs, superbly crafted arrangements, if I would, uh, you know, amateurishly uh, ascertain, I would say they're, they're excellently crafted. So this book's awesome. Next we have Mel Gars, oh, sorry, Mel Bay's Celtic Guitar Encyclopedia. Uh, this is a book by Glenn Weiser, who is uh, also puts out just awesome everything. 
Uh, I think he has a better book, which is very similar, which is this one. But this one is not in the collection, so we won't talk about that one. This one's pretty good. It's generally just a gigantic uh, short version, finger style versions of Celtic songs. Um, you know, they're very short. You know, you're getting just like, you know, sometimes just like one on a page. And uh, you wish they were a little bit longer, had, you know, more variations and, you know, like, you know, different, more parts to it. But uh, they sound awesome. They're a little bit challenging, a lot of them. Uh, so, but all in all, pretty good book. Uh, almost everything, yeah, you're not getting, no, no crazy tuning or anything. Just drop D if anything. Uh, Pretty good book, I'm gonna say it's okay. Next, we have the 100 most popular songs for finger picking guitar. Um, this book's awesome. This actually came out like within the last year, maybe even this year, early, like early this year. Uh, this book's great because it has everything. Uh, this is like basically the, the, the pop book and the children's book and the Beatles book. Uh, like that style, but just way more content. So you might be getting like 10, 12 songs out of like a lot of the small books. Uh, this is a hundred. So, um, and a lot of them are uh, really well made. There's a lot of repeats if you have, you know, if you own a lot of books in this finger picking genre collection uh, by Hale Leonard at least, you'll see a lot of repeats in here but you'll see a lot of new ones too. And if you don't own like a ton of other books, then these are gonna be all new. And uh, again, just awesome arrangements of everything, the vocal melodies built in there and everything. Uh, this book's awesome. Finally, we have the best for last, right? The 100 most beautiful songs ever for finger picking guitar. Basically it looks like the other book. This book came out maybe a couple years ago. But this book is awesome. This has basically everything that the other book has, except these are more like classic songs. Um, so popularity, I'm gonna say the song selection is a lot better in this one. And I'm gonna say the arrangements are a lot better. A lot of these I haven't even heard of before. And you start playing, oh my God, that is beautiful. You know, wow, that's, that's really, I mean, you really get a lot out of this. Uh, so this is awesome. There's a few versions of this in the system. And that was the last one that I could find that uh, I've actually used and it also exists in the Smile Collection. So uh, that's great. Thank you for watching.